Welcome to the PS3 Coffin Dodgers Resistance 3 Multiplayer Beta Review with me, Mikey Boy at Zero. So first impressions. Well, this particular level of train yard is, uh, is nice enough, but a little bit on the drab side, I've got to be honest. Um, you look at something like Uncharted 3, but uh, you handle a much more colourful environment. Yes, so uh, the colours are all a little bit washed out, but it looks it looks great. I mean, graphically, very nice. Uh, good job in Somniac Games. Uh, what you come to expect from uh, a first-party uh, PS3 game. This particular game mode is a control points game mode, where the aim of the game is for your team to link up control points and effectively capture the map. Nothing, uh, nothing particularly new there. Uh, there's also a deathmatch mode, team deathmatch mode in the beta. So as you can see, I'm just capturing this control point. One thing I did notice, and this will probably illustrate it, the weapons do feel very underpowered. The controls, very nice, very smooth, uh, very responsive. As you level up, the weapons do begin to feel a little meatier, a little more effective. Uh, and also there's the perks do improve. Uh, you pick up a lot of abilities. Anyone who's played the previous Resistance game will have sort of things. Shields, uh, movable shields, uh, put a shield on a particular area and protect your teammates. So here we go. I'm going to take this guy on with a shotgun, which I've got a level 5. And um, you know what? I'd expect me to be dead by now, or that guy to be dead by now. But, you know, headshot effectively works on him. Um, yeah, not the greatest. Uh, so here, this is, I'm just protecting the last link to stop them from doing the game. Um, you know, a little more like it. Maybe it's me, uh, but I really did have a problem with those weapons. Your team captured the location. So first impressions. Well, yeah, it, it's, it seems good enough. It's a decent enough game to play. Um, but the FPS market's going to get very crowded at the end of the year, and there's nothing I'm seeing here that particularly makes me want to spend £40 of my money on Resistance 3.